Hey folks, afternoon. Welcome to Pompano Beach, Florida. We got another uh, really, really, really nice truck here. I'll walk over to it now. 1961 Ford F100 custom cab. It's got the long bed on it. It's ironic, as we're sitting here getting ready to shoot the pictures, we just had an older gentleman pull up to us and ask about the truck. He was a designer in Dearborn, Michigan for Ford. He's actually involved in designing this truck. It was so ironic. He said he was really, really impressed how this vehicle looked. This is a 61. Came from an estate sale. We don't have a whole lot of the background history on it because it came from an estate sale. It's got 25,000 miles. We were told it's the actual miles. And I've got to say, I believe it. I've been told that before in other vehicles, and I question it. This one, I believe it. We're going to show you videos underneath this vehicle. We're going to put it on the lift and try to document it as best as we can. We can't find anything else on this vehicle at all. Let's uh, take a look at the inside of it. It's got the V8 in it. It has a four-speed transmission. I would consider it sort of the base vehicle. It does not have air. You can put the uh, vintage air in it. It does have the spotlight on the roof, which is pretty cool. You can work it from inside. I know a lot of people with Fords had those uh, put in these trucks, and uh, they really liked them. Spare tires mounted inside the, uh, the bed here, as you can see. The bed is really, really clean. Yes, the vehicle's been repainted. Uh, you know, from 1961, the original paint wouldn't have lasted this long, let's face it. It's been painted. It's extremely nice. A very, very, very nice job. Tires are virtually new on the vehicle. Again, there's no rust. As we go around it, it's got the donut type hubcaps. has chrome bumpers. All the chrome on the truck is very nice condition. It's not pitted. You can see even the hood emblem. In excellent condition all the way through the headlights. Everything's impeccable on this truck. The bumpers, again, no corrosion. You look at the wheels, no rust. The tires are nice. The hubcaps are great. Ford emblem. F100, not pitted, not all corroded. Mirror, not corroded. All the, 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 the windshield framing and everything all the way around, impeccable shape. Whoever repainted this truck did a great, great job. I gotta say, they probably spent seven, eight thousand dollars doing it. You can't do it this nice or cheap. Let's show you this, the tailgate. Look at that. Really, really nice shape. A couple minor little scratches, you know. It's, the, the truck is driven. We're going to take it to one of the car shows this weekend. It's that nice a truck. Put it in the show, you're probably going to win an award. Hey, listen, we're going to come back with some more videos. Rick's shooting it right now. Uh, they asked me to talk about it because he's not old enough. And I, I do remember this truck. Uh, this is, this is not a truck you want to miss. You, want, you don't want to pass this up. We can buy a lot of vehicles. If I had the cash just laying around, I would keep this truck. And that's totally sincere. Uh, don't miss it. My name's Jack. Give me a call. 954-520-9751. Rick's shooting the video right now. My son-in-law. Hey, I'm telling you folks, don't miss it. This is the real thing. Give me a call. Jack, 954-520-9751. Thanks a lot. Hey, here we are. Jack again here with Rick. I just started the truck. Starts up every time like that. 25,890 miles. Supposed to be accurate. We're going to drive it. It does have uh, the four-speed transmission, so you know first gear is like a granny gear, pretty low range. There's second gear. 
I think you might know how to drive this thing. Yeah. Yep. And I even know what everything is. Vent windows, which work, by the way, I don't know why they quit putting them in cars, because they work really well. I'm going to take it a little easy like this right now, but I'm going to get on the road here where we can open it up for you. There's no slop in the steering. It does not have powder steering. Very few of them did back then. I don't even know if it was available. The steering's tight. And when I hit the brakes, it stops straight. It does not pull left or right like some of the vehicles older vehicles would. Uh, would I drive this on a long trip? You know what? Probably. Wouldn't bother me. You know, put a thousand miles on it, wouldn't bother me. Okay, folks, here we are in Federal Highway. I can open it up a little bit for you. There's a uh, pushing 50 miles an hour right now. The truck is driving straight, nice. As you can see, it's not pulling, it's not changing lanes on me. All right. It's 55 miles an hour. So, hey, don't miss this truck. It's the real deal. The brakes stop the truck nice. The only problem you got is everybody looks at you. Everybody wants to see the truck. Hey, give us a call. Jack and Rick here. 954-520-9751. Thanks a lot. Okay, folks, here we are underneath the 61 F100. As you can see, everything's been redone under here. Look at all on the straight front axle. Look at all the U-bolts. Uh, everything's everything's been redone. So this truck has been uh, really updated. There is no rust. I can't find any rust underneath this truck. I'm looking up here, you know, alongside the doors and everything under there, the frame rails, the floor pan. The, everything's rust free. Look at this under here. There's nothing. It's clean as it can be. We haven't washed this or anything. I want to keep it just like it is. It's been driven. Um, again, all the way back, there's no rust. Look at this. Look inside the panel. Solid. Bumper, solid. Fender rolls. All this. Somebody really did a job on this truck when they painted it. No rust. Look at this. There's no Bondo here. Here's where the doors would be, up in this area. And folks, as you can see, <laughs> this, is a, this is a true find. So give me a call. Rick's doing a video right now. And uh, man, can't find anything wrong. <laughs> Again, Jack, 954-520-9751. It's a nice one, guys. Thanks. Give me a call. We'll talk about it. Tell you all I know about it. Thanks for looking. See you later.